warm welcome to the hydrogen webinar. Thanks for being here. I will I will talk about uh, the hydrogen conversion in my eyes, and I will um, describe uh, five necessary steps. And um, then I would like to discuss at which point we are. And um, I will also show you an example. And uh, then I will show you our international hydrogen price list which is important if you are planning uh, hydrogen projects, you need to know about prices. So to make this a little bit uh, understandable, I have here a traditional uh, solar system, which we designed for a, for a family in, in, in central Germany, which consists of a solar array, thermal solar array, a lithium battery, and a wall box. And um, this already contains the first three steps of the hydrogen conversion. So first of all, you need space to put solar arrays on. Secondly, you need the PV system set up. You can uh, grid tie it. But uh, if the, this is not economically in your country, it would be preferable to have a battery. Traditionally, this would be lithium batteries because they are, have a high capacity, but at the same point, they are quite expensive. So just to give you an idea about the prices here in Germany, for less than 15 kilowatt hours of lithium ion battery for a house bank, we pay up to 20,000 euro. And with, with this, we have 4,000 cycles. The charming thing about hydrogen is you can store much more energy. We are not talking about 15 kilowatt hours. We are talking about 100, 300 kilowatt hours, summer season by the conversion of hydrogen in so-called hydrogen cylinders or hydrogen bundles. So uh, that's what you see here. Now I will uh, try to explain the electrolysis process in this small example, which makes it hopefully understandable for everyone. So here we have the electrolyzer, which has several ports. In green, you see the water supply which is basically the most important uh, stuff because that's where we separate the hydrogen from. And this is connected to your grid and there's automatic feed, but we would recommend a pre-filter. This is just a deionizer ingredients that deionizes the water in the first term because we use PEM electrolyzers in our uh, systems. And as you see here, this is the rough sketch of the PEM electrolyzer. It's, uh, it's square, pardon it. Um, anyway, there is a deionizer in the system which circulates all the time. This is the filter which is inside. The deionizer has to be changed from time to time. Then, besides the process, the electrolyzer will produce heat, and it is very important that we get rid of this heat, and that is the red and the blue pipe, which goes directly into your buffer tank. Uh, most buffer tanks of my clients have many, many ports. Some are used for thermal solar, some are used for the heater itself. It's a, if it's a gas boiler, uh, whatever, the heater will be traditionally far up because uh, it has high temperatures. And I would suggest to insert the electrolyzer waste heat uh, to the bottom because we want the return to be as cold as possible. And now I'm gonna explain you why, because beneath uh, the electrolyzer, there is the booster. And the booster compresses uh, the hydrogen. And 
everybody of uh, us knows that if you compress hydrogen, uh, there will be uh, heat. And uh, we want the hydrogen to be as co cool as possible when it comes into the booster, because we don't want the hydrogen to get more than 100 degrees Celsius. That is not only uh, lowering the risk, it is also for the gaskets. The gaskets, PTFE gaskets in this booster shouldn't get very warm because of uh, you all know plastics don't like heat. This is not like a car piston with iron uh, bushings or so. This is, um, yeah, PTFE. Then the hydrogen comes out in a compressed stage and uh, that is what you see here, but actually it's simultaneously on the low pressure side and the high pressure side, which is yellow. One bundle will be dedicated to the pre-pressurization. If we go now to this bundle, let's say this bundle here um, will be 120 bars. And then there is a switch. It will recompress this 120 to 300 bars which is the normal pressure for uh, steel hydrogen uh, cylinders. And that is the pressure we suggest. This car we have here is a CNG converted car. In Germany, it was once uh, very common to convert your car to CNG. In Poland, it's very common still. It's, uh, it's depending on, of course, the CNG prices at the gas station. And this car can be converted to hydrogen very easy. This car will be fed by this nozzle and only needs 250 bars of pressure. The thing is I want you to know is the distance you can travel with this car is not as far as with gasoline. It might be one third of the CNG. There is, of course, the the most important thing or the second most important thing is the renewable energy so now the electrolyzer uses the energy from the pv array to make the hydrogen and here i want to present you a new kind of battery just to make you think about new technologies this is a redox vanadium flow battery which is produced in germany and the charming thing about it, it's not so expensive. You get, uh, I think, four, 40,000 cycles. So it is just fluids. So it is a mechanical uh, battery, which is uh, pumping fluids with different concentrations. And um, this fits very well with the electrolysis process we offer because the disadvantage of a redox vanadium flow battery is it cannot handle high loads. Not like a lithium battery, you cannot take 120 amp hours of, out of your battery pack, or if you wanna talk in watts, you cannot charge six to 12 kilowatt uh, wall box to charge your electric vehicle. Therefore, you can have a small lead acid battery to be charged after be, being discharged for big electrical consumers. With this in, in mind, yeah, of course, money is a major subject, so I would like to present you the International Hydrogen Price List, which you can uh, have a look on the website in the members area. So if you sign up in, in the members area, um, you will find here where's restricted co content, you will find this table and um because i get a lot of questions of interested people i want to explain how to use it so now that you have seen all the components which are necessary now we only look at the prices for things you need for the hydrogen conversion to come back to um harry Bet's question how many bundles it would be to have 700 kilogram of hydrogen here we have the hydrogen bundles and they are they are available in 200 bars which is indicated in this uh, this row and then 300 bars if charged with 300 bars they will have 21 kilogram if it's uh, this is a 16 
uh, bottle four times four bundle. This is a uh, 12. So this will have 21 kilograms. It would be ec economically to reduce your heat demand by insulating your house or doing something before that, because to do this with renewables is utopic. Then we come to, to maybe another point, which is pretty interesting, is the solar array size and the battery size we are talking here. You see here is a really big surface is uh, dedicated to, to the solar. This is, uh, um, I think, a 20 kilowatt peak solar array was, uh, where we just took all the place which was, uh, which was available. This power consumption of this machine will be around one kilowatt. But if you want to run it for 24 hours, this will come to 24 kilowatt hours you need in stock. The sun only shines maximum 12 hours uh, at the equator, for instance, then we need to store at least 13 kilowatt hours. We are talking about uh, big, big solar areas. And this is only for the hydrogen production. And like we calculated how much kilometers would you would you be able to go with the hydrogen you produce in one year in the Northern Hemisphere if the electrolyzer has, has always the necessary energy? Then you would be able to run 12,000 kilometers a year, which is okay. But most likely, because what happens in the, in the system here, the, the energy management will only activate the electrolyzer when the battery is full there will be many times where you for instance charge uh, charge your cars or cook or whatever or it is just dark for three days in germany that's that's the way we calculate no sunshine for three days and we had this this winter and we will have this any winter so if you want to store a lot of hydrogen so if you run a 24 hours or you can uh, you can stack this electrolyzer you can put two on top of each other um, you might not see but it's a stackable system and uh, piping um, doesn't show that yet but then think about the costs one of these bundles will cost you thirteen thousand in france ten thousand in czech republic and that is without the delivery that's why for our system, we will start with uh, hydrogen trailers, which are much cheaper because 1,400 kilogram steel cage, which is really made to be transported every day. Like these are rental bundles. These are way too strong for a, a normal use. So uh, this trailer holds up 12 kilograms of hydrogen and will cost you not, uh, not even yeah not even half of the french type uh, and and it's available quite close okay then we go to the last question uh, what can a person do with the hydrogen then we explained like one use which is pretty charming the the hydrogen converted car but there are many other uses to make the hydrogen transition with such big investments, like I hope you, you understood now, to make it as easy for the consumer, which becomes a prosumer by buying an electrolyzer, is to make it small steps. And therefore, I present you here now the easiest and cheapest way to make hydrogen a useful thing in your household. So, because if you have stored your excess solar energy in the, in the bundles, you can easily buy a catalytic heater with hydrogen. Hydrogen passed through this catalytic net. It's dipped with uh, thin particles of uh, platinum. And when the hydrogen touches the platinum, it will react with the oxygen in the surrounding and create heat. This is the easiest way to make a hydrogen very useful thing. And then there's another topic I want to address that is fuel cells. 
like if we go back to the international hydrogen price list, you will also find fuel cell prices. And there, I want to point out why we didn't launch our system on converting hydrogen back to electricity with fuel cells, because these are very, very good, uh, at least the Dutch uh, company, I, I, I think it's, they are so long in the business, it's one of the best hi uh, hydrogen fuel stacks you can get, but they have a lifetime of, of 25,000 hours, which means this huge investment has to be changed or every three years. Yeah, I mean, for a, for a hydrogen car, this is okay, yes, because a gasoline engine runs not more than 3,000 hours. But for an application in a household where a heater has to last for 20 years, this is not acceptable in my eyes. So I don't want to make our customers take the wrong decisions and buy a system and every five years they have to pay 7,000 euro to get a new um, fuel stack. What our electrolyzer um, producer does, it refreshes the, the catalyst, but after 40,000 hours, which is five years maximum runtime. And then you can use it uh, again. So it's like a maintenance, like an oil change. And if you look at this Chinese, uh, this is a very powerful uh, fuel cell, then you will also see this has only 500 start stop cycles. And uh, so there are a lot of things I think fuel cells still have to accomplish. And we, we're thinking the easier method to come back to this, what to do with the hydrogen slide is really to use the generator at the beginning. Uh, you can convert a gasoline generator, which costs you less than 1,000 euro, to hydrogen and run it on hydrogen. Just put it uh, next to, to your compressor in the outside. And if you have no electricity in winter, which will be maybe three days in one season or maybe maybe a week or maybe two weeks, then just use the hydrogen to make electricity through the traditional technology. The hydrogen conversion kits for uh, electric generators is sold for 40, 40, uh, 40 euro. It's all CNG technology, but this is a, these are working with carburetors. So there's no digital lambda measurement or anything. And of course, for if you want to be more efficient, the manufacturers of combined heat and power stations have all converted their former gasoline engines to hydrogen. So here are two companies uh, who do that successfully. We have one uh, hydrogen combined heat and power station, which is nothing else than a generator, just as uses the heat of the cooling system. Uh, but of course, if you look 300,000 euro, this is a size they want to be more on the on a scale of uh, district, like district heating. What we thought was maybe the easiest thing to, to get it started, because the prices vary a lot, is first, just use your excess solar energy and make hydrogen. And don't think about the use of hydrogen, even though we all know in the steps um, of the hydrogen transition, the applications are key. But all this will be so expensive for a one-time investment that we offer to connect buyers. And um, there are already platforms who work on a much bigger scale in Düsseldorf, for instance, um, where you first produce hydrogen and then you sell the hydrogen. And with this income, you can enlarge your system, you can increase, you can start like uh, with one trailer in, in year one, you can start with two trailers in year two and three trailers and with the revenue because the hydrogen uh, in bottles is much more expensive. If, uh, if we look at this statistic here, 
I, um, these are suppliers of technical gases in Germany, you know, of course, Air Liquide and Linde, uh, and they sell uh, hydrogen up to 400 euro a kilogram. So what we do is we connect uh, you as a producer in the first stage of your hydrogen conversion and then but then we can sell it for instance to uh, gas chromatography institutions like the police has a gas chromatograph uh, many pharmacy industries and so on they lose tiny quantities of hydrogen to measure the conductivity of the gases they uh, they want to measure this is called gas chromatography, but also uh, for welding. And here you find an entire list of industries which already use hydrogen, like uh, welding. It is, uh, <laughs> funnily, it is used for uh, welding stainless steel, not as, as a combustible, but as a... Um, uh, inert no it's not inert but it's just pushing away the the air <laughs> i cannot explain this in english anyway um here you find a lot of uh consumers so the traditional glass industry works with hydrogen we think this makes the hydrogen transition much easier and then if there are no questions from you i will point out the last last point because if 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 you got me right i now i showed you how the system will run i showed you approximately how much it will cost and um now it comes to the question how long does it take until i make money with my hydrogen or like i don't have to spend for uh the the grid power i use so therefore we have a excel tool which calculates dynamically the amortization which means the return on invest um, of your system and you can use it for free on on the site it is always depending on your um calculations like here what do you think will be the um the price of gasoline and um, here it will show up in a second uh, in this table you can type in your costs your initial costs to start the system you can put on the interest of your bank if there is any you have to take and this um, is the inflation rate and it will give you a graph and it would show you if your system and at what point your system is getting on a positive side of the equation. So I, if you consider uh, small or big projects, this is the VDE, it's a, it's a cost benefit analysis. Thank you so much for watching. We have to make our living by what we do. We want you to be energy independent. Energy is a gift and that's what we work for. The only thing we ask you is please give us a like, subscribe to our channel and push the bell notification button. If you want to see the full tutorial, you can watch it on the Volks Electrolyzer community members area totally for free. You get access to the full electrolyzer mounting tutorial without commercials. You get the international hydrogen price list with all the components you need. Read the newest article and check out our explanatory pictures and schemes. You get the possibility to become a sales partner. Our shared experience and your knowledge is key to the Volks Electrolyzer community. So please consider to become a member under v-electrolyzer.de.